Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Nidalee Jungle. Got auto-filled this game, so high elo Nidalee Jungle, even though I don't play jungle, like, ever. That lands. Does it matter, though? Yeah, she'll, she'll be gone. But we got, uh... Nothing, I guess. We got her potion. Can I even go this way, dude? This is actually kind of scary. Oh, never mind. We have MF. For some reason, I thought somebody else reset. All right. I probably should have dropped a ward back there, huh? I wonder if they started my stuff. Or they're going to start my stuff. The invade was so long. Normally, I drop down a ward and then I sweep. Like, I go by a sweeper, but I guess we're not going to be doing that this game. That's okay, though. Let's just smite this one, heal myself so I get the bonus attack speed going. Just continue farming this out. Wow, they reset so quickly. Seriously? I had no idea that they just, like, go back that fast. Oh, well, though. Oh, this is a pretty healthy clear, but... Because I looked on the websites, I normally do pound second, but it's showing that it's better win rate and more people go E second. So I'm not very used to this clear. I've never tried it before. I normally do pounce. I mean, I just win. We have red buff, so I should be able to just flash to slow her down. That whoever warded this is so good. Oh, I might be dead, huh? Oh, wait. I still have heal, and I think- Oh, he flashed in the spear! <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> Holy- Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, what an early game. I mean, hopefully we can uh, do something with this advantage that I have. I feel like any good jungler would be in a pretty good spot right now. It's just a matter of me not playing jungle, but that's probably the best possible lead I could have ever gotten. <laughs> uh, yeah, who warded this? Rise? Rise? Was that Rise? I don't know. Maybe the ward that uh, made us see Viego already expired, but whoever did that... Kind of won me the jungle. Because getting the first hit on anyone is really impactful. That's why we won. Because I was able to find him and hit him, that just let up win so hard. So he did bottom scuttle and gank bot, so that's where he was last. Ooh. Huh? What is she doing? That was so random. Why did she play so aggressive there? Wow, he's just giving me this too? I don't even know if I need to smite it. Well, let's just smite it anyways. Wow, she died too? And Viego's topside? Just like doing golems or something? I can trap that. I could probably do one of these. Do you just do one of them and then leave? That's smart. Because they take forever to do. 
It's because they heal themselves when you kill one. You know what? Maybe this is possible to do, like, all of them. Huh. Oh. Their little grubs just blocked it. Yeah, this actually does, like, no damage to me. Hello? Why did I think that these did? I feel like I played other junglers, and they don't... And you take so much damage. Huh. Nah, this is dumb. That guy's level 6. So I'll just go back to farming. Wait, you're dead. Dude, no. Oh, he has TP. Are you gonna... He's not gonna get that minion in time, so I'll just take that one. He's soloing dragon. Split map is kind of annoying because we are kind of winning, so probably uh, letting him do dragon kind of sucks, but oh well. Wow, they are so low bot lane. Hello. Level 6 is a gigantic power spike for Nidalee. The reason why it's so big is because uh, all of my cougar form abilities get upgraded, so... Lich Bane's kind of expensive, right? 2k. I should go to Top Scuttle and then invade, maybe? Maybe I can do that? Scuttle's got the jukes. Going around my trap as well. My goodness, man. Dang it, man. This is warded. I outsmited him. So I got the red buff, which is pretty nice. I'm just gonna base because this uh, buy means that maybe I, maybe I just can invade now. Like I just go in and just fight him. I shouldn't be able to lose unless I overextend and get collapsed on, I guess, and die that way. So we can do like golems into immediately go bot and just start chucking spears underneath turret is aborted that's aborted Holy, nice poke. Ooh, nice spear. We can probably just hit turret together. Is there anything else for me to do? Maybe Gronk? Because that's spawning. You can't contest this, right? So I'll just smite it, just to make sure I secure it, no matter what. Deny him something. Just spear him for a little bit of damage. Uh, are we on vision? Dang, I really wish he didn't base. I would have been totally down to try to fight that. Oh well. Because it looks like this was a collapsible moment. They would have walked towards us. Even just fighting the Leona would have probably won us the fight. But oh well. I guess I can just go do grubs too. Mm, we're starting to do other things on the map rather than play for the objective. I mean, it's not bad what Ryze is doing. 
Unless for some reason they get counter ganked or something. But six grubs would be really nice, huh? Ooh, this is warded. And Ari's coming too. Oh, she ultied. I'm gonna flash his flash. He was being really obvious about it. That landed? Interesting. I'm gonna heal myself. Nice, okay, good job guys. Healing. Uh, yeah, just leave. Dang, man, we're probably gonna lose the damn dragon again, though, you know? What's gonna happen is that I'm not gonna be able to get down there fast enough. Oh, maybe they won't do it. I don't know. It looks like they're not actually going for it. Maybe it is possible. To deny it. He turned around. Uh, yeah, I deal a lot of damage when I land my spear. Because I'm fed, so... Now we do dragon? Maybe sc just scuttle crab? I don't have smite. Nobody's on the map besides MF too, so oh you can you could have went that way. I'll protect you. Missed my spear, but it's chill still. I think. Right? Is it not chill? Yo wait, I just used uh my heal. What? That landed? <laughs> I tried pretending to go for the Jinx, but I was actually going for Leona the whole time. Wait! You got her excited! You died! I can just wait for Rise here. I don't need to do anything impatient. You know, let's not accidentally go under turret, try to do it all on my own. If I, for some reason, fail it, I die. That'd be pretty bad. There's a slim chance that, like, Viego is desperate to come back, and they come mid, or come to this dragon with Ari as well and try to kill me. I'm kind of low. Never mind. We're still chilling. God, I have so much money. I really need a base. But I want to do my camps too. Since I'm already in the area. Plus like Rift Herald is up, so I don't want to be on the bot side of the map. I want to be near the objective that matters. Which is only Rift right now, really. So I don't want to come back bot, which means I'll just leave Raptors up. What a purchase, dude. I think we go Seekers next. I don't even know what Seekers builds out of. Okay, cool. Two Amp Domes. Since we want Medjai's to be, like, really uh, snowball-y, I want to have a defensive item. I think we just 
do this. I don't know if they're even going to bother trying to contest it. it. Seems that everybody else is on the bot side of the map anyways, so I'll probably be able to just do this. Shut down. There's one. Just putting some traps on the ground. Dang it, man. If only I landed that spear. Let's just go do blue, I guess, for the time being. There's no objectives for so long, and a lot of my teammates just need to be collecting side waves and stuff. Like, Ryze should be going bot. And then with me, I can just kind of go wherever. Okay, Ryze is coming top. Really? I don't have Zhonya's. So, uh... I'm gonna ulti him. Oh! Oh my god. I landed a good spear. It's so satisfying playing Nidalee with the long range spears, man. I love playing Nidalee. If I was like a jungle main, this is probably what I would play, even though I feel like I probably wouldn't climb very high with her because uh, I've played Nidalee games and I just completely get shit on too sometimes. Uh, I guess I'll just base. I have a full Zhonya's, right? <laughs> like, this is kind of crazy. <laughs> oh, wait, I don't. Okay, I'll go for this. And let's build, like... Let's not even finish the Seekers. Oh, well, I guess we could, because it goes out of Needless. Wow, that's very convenient. So, like, I'm building other items. And if I don't use this, I'll finish them. And if I use it, then I just spend a little bit to finish. So, that's huge. Uh, yeah, good luck. I have Zhonya, so I feel pretty safe to face check and uh, just run people down. I'm not scared if I walk into, like, Viego or anything. Maybe we should just rift mid, huh? For the time being. I'm a little bit surprised that I have not FF'd yet. Oh my god. I just got myself killed? Never mind. <laughs> I'm so fed. I still have Zonkis? Dude, I... Leon was so fair. Okay, dude. She literally made it so I was CC chained for three seconds straight? Like, literally zero counterplay with Zonians. Wow, I would have to use it before she cues me. That's incredible. But the whole team's pretty fed, so I don't need to be the only person to really do much here. We're still in a pretty good position just to uh, win this game outright. I guess I can build a Hextech Alternator. Oh, nice. We got the turret, so I don't have to wait around. I wonder if my damage is even going to be the highest. Sometimes it feels like you're 1v9ing on Nid, but then endgame is just somebody else has more damage than you, because you are kind of just burst, and that's it. And there's teamfight champions normally have the highest numbers. Uh, I guess I can just continue doing these.
Just farm out. When you're done farming, then you can go group with your team and... Farming is just like catching waves for junglers. Is this guy just killable? Ooh, <laughs> maybe a little bit. I am bleeding though. I am so dead. Oh my god, I'm not dead. My heal was crazy. <laughs> I heal for more when I'm low. That's one of the changes that they made to Nilly. It wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it never used to do that. Back when I played Nilly, it didn't do that. It was just a straight heal. God, I healed for like 600. That was ridiculous. Uh, my team's just ending. I was really low, but I guess I could stuck stuck around because, you know, I could just healed myself like three times to full heal. I'll come over. No. I gave my entire team blue, I guess, if that even matters. <laughs> my taking that. All right, this is Jinx's get excited time to win the game, but I can heal my team for a ridiculous amount here, so... Did they buff Nilly heal range too? Haha, <laughs> you actually died. Three, two, one. You're so annoying, man. Let me one shot the Ari. Well, anyways, that was uh, me playing Autofill Jungle Nidalee versus a Viego. Um, I think that my top and... I guess it wasn't even my top laner. Darius rotated. Rise just is the reason why I got so fed because he helped me in River a lot during that initial fight. So that's Nidalee for you. As you can see, I didn't do most damage. What do you know? So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did uh, enjoy it, drop a like in the video, and I will see all of you guys in the next commentary. We faced a Viego um, jungle OTP. So that's who we went against. GG's. Have a great day. Bye. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the next commentary. Today, we are playing some AP Varus mid. I've not played AP Varus in so long. Uh, I remember I used to make so many videos on him, but then Riot nerfed him pretty intensely, but... Who knows how he might feel with the new items. Uh, kind of wanted to try him out myself. So that's what we're doing this game. I'm just going to use my E here. My auto attack really got canceled. Dang it. I really thought that uh, I would have enough attack speed to not cancel it that way. But oh well. This guy did start E. So I guess I could probably step up and occasionally look for auto attacks when I can. Probably when he's going for minions. Cancelled my auto attack again. I need to not do that. I am making some big mistakes with my autos, aren't I? I wonder if he went Q or W next. W it is. Three hit passive on him from press the attack and three blight stacks, so pretty decent damage there. I mean, we should have a lot of pressure on this guy during the early game. What I'm going to be uh, worried about is getting ganked by Mumu. Because Mumu um, and Lee Sin does sound pretty good together. If they can manage to uh, hit me with their abilities, I should just die. But if I dodge it, sidestep it, whatever it might be, should be okay. Just auto-attacking him under turret, trying to get an advantage... With health. Braum's missing, but Nico's right behind me, though. W max first. The W max will give us insane blight damage. And of course, Nash's tooth first item. Oh, you missed your ability. 
I messed that up pretty bad. I should've used my W there. But he's so low to the point that maybe he's killable. He did pop his one potion though, so that's like kind of regening a lot of HP here. There is no reason not to use my W. Big damage again, but he'll live. He'll probably just TP back at this point, most likely. So I will just try to shove out myself and uh, reset as well. Dang, he is really low. Got his flash. Oh, does he die? Dang, man. You weren't able to kill. Ah, oh, if I sidestepped that, that would have been so sick. I barely killed that guy, too. Well, at least he TP'd. So, like, he is going to miss this wave. Uh, I guess so. I mean, it wasn't the worst. I think that probably what happened is Diana went for a Mumu and maybe her Q didn't land on him. So, like, she didn't get a reset off, probably. I think that's probably how she would possibly uh, lose to that. <coughs> maybe I could have salvaged the situation if I flashed immediately, but I just assumed that she already had him because it was a very confident flash. You're just dead. He is playing so aggressive. I don't think he realizes that I deal a billion damage. Um, every single auto attack right now deals bonus 30. Like, I deal a lot. Um, because also, I detonate these blight stacks for percent HP damage. I mean, I guess I'll rotate to this, but the thing is that, like, Leeson's coming back with full HP, though. Okay, cool. He died. Set coming. This game is, uh, not looking the best, but at least Leeson died mid. I don't know where this guy went. Oh, there he is. He probably was, uh, in the river trying to help out a Mumu. That's what I was actually nervous about, too. I guess I'll sell my potion. I don't really care about it. Let's build Dark Seal because we're snowballing. So every single bit of AP is going to increase that. The second paragraph. The second paragraph is the only part that really matters. At max stacks right now, we deal 14% max HP if we detonate our Blight. Our Q increases Blight damage from this by up to 50% depending on how long you hold the Q. So you can add 50% of that number to itself if you use your Q and hold it down. So that's where the crazy numbers come in. If I can get to like 30% max HP damage, 30% turns into 50%, or rather 45% because that's uh, adding half of it. So that's how AP Varus works. All off of detonating your Blight with your Q. That's how you win. Okay. That heal didn't hit me, did it? Yeah, it didn't. You healed me a bit too late. That's really tragic. Dang. I could have lived and would have been a one for... Whatever. Dang, man. I used my E there to detonate because you can use both of them. You can use E or Q. You just want to uh, go between them. So, like... You want to have three stacks, detonate it with Q, have three stacks, detonate it with E. I probably should have used Q first, I guess, and just tapped it. Although just tapping it doesn't deal more damage, I guess. I don't know. Landing E is a lot easier. I don't have TP, man. Like, I do have TP, but I don't have a way to get to you from this angle. You guys going to live with one HP. Why were they even in the jungle? I guess Diana was invading. This game seems not very good for me now. I have been part of 100 KP. Nice.
100% of kill participation. I feel like I'm going to be the person to get camped, too. The reason why I'm going to get camped is because I think I am the lane that is winning. So there's no reason not to just help Lee Sin to make it so now I'm not, you know? Let's prevent me from getting fed, because if side lane's already losing, then they don't want them or want me to be the shining light for my team. Yeah. Probably dead. Oh my god, you saved me! Holy dude. Is Jinx? Jinx Rocket? Does he really think that's me? <laughs> I mean, the thing is that a Moomoo kind of destroys you. I don't even know if my team can confidently fight that. I'm not gonna help. Yo! Good outplay. How did I get an assist for that? Dang, Jinx is 1 HP bot side. Is she really leaving? Oh no, is it because of the ward? Nice. My ability didn't go off either. Oh nice, they died. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I should probably just leave her. There's no way for me to help. Is it Moomoo behind me? I mean, Moomoo died. No. Rom, you actually just basically won your team the freaking fight. He blocked my Q, and it doesn't detonate on him, and it was, Leeson had two stacks on him, I saw it, so would've killed him too, probably. Well played, Braum, dude. Your your E timing was actually flawless. You just ruined my entire play. Yeah, I committed really hard for the uh, Jinx, by the way, because she was worth a whopping 750, so getting 750 onto any of our teammates is pretty influential. I like that. That's a, a good play to make. God, bot wave is so screwed. You know what? I'll just leave it. Honestly, let's just go to this, I guess. You know? Ooh, Braum went in too. All right, I'll go bot now. Beforehand, I was just gonna help my team do the top side uh, because we can all play together. Because the bot wave was already pretty bad, so I was barely going to get any CS because it was already slow pushing. So I was like, why not just use the slow push bot lane where Lee Sin will guaranteed go get it and just create a numbers advantage somewhere and take an objective or something. But then the mid fight happened and it kind of changed everything. I wonder how badly he beats me now. I do have bone plating, but he has Eclipse and Eclipse is terrifying to go against. Yikes. Yeah. I mean, I killed him, which is good. I got hit by this slow instead of you. I'm just dead. Just leave me. There's no way. Pantheon looks like he'll probably kill this, though. Nice. So an assist happens. Yeah, when you activate your W, your next Q deals percent missing HP. So, uh, it's just like an execute. So because Lee Sin was already a little bit low, activating that plus hitting it with this means that we get the... What, the Blight probably does 30% max HP plus the percent missing as well. So we do a lot. Pantang gets bonus movement speed at the end of his E when he does the Empowered version, so...
And... I'm scared of Set. I don't want to face check him. Now we can go Shadow Flame or Rift Maker. Rift Maker gives us percent damage. And Omnivamp. This seems like a bad fight. I'm scared. Oh my god, they actually outplayed that so hard. No! And Lee Sin's just running away. Oh. What? Okay, so he's just dead. I mean, he stepped back up to play aggressive when he shouldn't have. Top lane is crashed, so nobody's gonna get that farm. I'm not sure if I can beat a Moo Moo in a 1v1. Maybe if I land everything. Your ulti when you land any ability when people have Blight on it, it detonates the Blight for that damage. That includes your own ultimate, and your ultimate applies Blight. So one of the best combos is 3-hit, auto, ultimate, then auto like once, and that will normally get about 3 stacks again. And that will enable you to... Let's see how much damage this does. Okay, you shielded that, so not really that much yet. Plus, it only had two stacks on him. I'm almost level 11. Your ultimate also has a 100% AP ratio on it, so when you have high AP, you will hit very hard. We should probably be doing the Rift Herald because of Leeson being bot side, but since my team's backing away, we'll change the plans and not do that. I might just want a base, honestly. I really feel like Riftmaker might be the play versus this style of team comp. I doubt having the flat damage is going to be good. Flat pen also, in my opinion, sucks really bad against um, high magic resist. And they are building high MR, so I'd rather just build a Void Staff. So Riftmaker, Void Staff, Deathcap angle, in my opinion, is the way to play it. I would miss that. I'm dead. Everybody went for set. I was like hitting the Jinx and Braum. I thought that somebody wouldn't go for him, but all four of them turned. <laughs> okay. At least that's dead, right? You guys got him. Nice. Yeah, because, I mean, we do have 80 damage dealers, too. They they definitely heavily, like Lee Sin, heavily went into MR. So when I'm dead, it doesn't really matter for me. And good luck versus MF. She's lethality. And she's really weak, but she's not. Because she'll still hit really hard since you have no armor. Riftmaker into Void Staff. It's so bad to miss your abilities. It's better just to hold on to them. But I really think that I should have landed that, though. I really should have landed my... um ultimate onto a Moomoo there. That would have fixed everything, probably. <sighs> I really do wonder if I can still beat Lee Sin, even though he has Amara, just because of Varus's dueling power. Probably not, just because he has Eclipse, too, so he has, like, multiple dueling items. Man, okay, I'm just really unlucky right now. Team at. Got that. Lee Sim will just shove out. I will just uh, farm it from back here. We can also see, most likely, if he looks for like a, a play to kill me. I guess I'll TP into this. Screw bot lane. We could probably do Baron after this fight, too. Let's 
So she dies. Landed a good hit on her. There's no reason to go for... Oh, wait. Baron's not up. I'm stupid. Yeah, just do dragon. I still wanted to be part of the fight before uh, Lee Sin appeared, so... I wonder if my team would have killed Jinx without me. Probably not, right? I just want that minion. I only need 400 gold to finish my next item. I guess I'm farming mid right now. Pantheon will probably go top, right? I'm using my E for the slow. Obviously, it doesn't do any damage. I just feel safer when people are slowed. Diana used ultimate, but we weren't able to catch that guy. And I almost have my uh, Rift Maker in base. Not going to step up, obviously, with so many people being around mid. They're Rift Heralding. I'll just leave it. I mean, nobody's really here to assist. I'll just ult here because that locking her down, even though I don't have abilities, could be good. No? Didn't really work out, huh? Braum just blocked my ability, which would have blight stacked her. I could have tanked that. Maybe the explosion's kind of big. MF's been top this entire time. They might try to do Baron. If I can get off a quick reset, though. We only lost one turret. Uh, I'm running as fast as I can. It looks like they're being stalled. This is really good. No! I mean, that was really well played, but, like, it's just not going to work out. It would have been so much better to wait. I'm sad now. <sighs> they... All you have to do is make sure they don't do Baron. That's it and not go in and they got off baron so everybody should have just backed away because there's no reason to fight i don't have ultimate so i'm worthless without ult for the most part um like and stuff so it was just too aggressive but at least we're still like Feeling pretty good on two core, in my opinion. Vera scales pretty well on item spikes. <clears throat> it's really important for him just to try to get the percentage values in to assist with the W. So I'll probably have to go void next. Lee Sin. Lee Sin's kind of strong. Braum kind of just ruins my day, huh? I want to just fish for ult because if I land out on somebody, I can deal big damage. But, I mean, hold this block at the... Ooh, going for Braum is not that bad of an idea, though. Oh, somebody canceled my Q. Braum just blocked so much damage. That was ridiculous. I was hitting the Jinx the entire... Well, I was, like, trying to hit her, and Braum's shield was just stopping everything. 
My god damn, dude. It might be over just because Diana push power is really OP. Can get towers? I think we actually get the whole game. Diana 3 hit passive is a bit broken. So yeah, uh, that was AP Varus. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like on it. Um, pretty standard game. I mean, game's normally about 25 minutes. So no showcase of... Uh, like high AP numbers, but not bad. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. See you guys later. Bye.